Our Lord has touched our hearts. We know we will see Joshua again one day. So listen, we believe that our, we believe that with all our heart and soul. We do. I really do. We're counting on it. But I'll say this. The question is why? Why do we get to see Joshua again? Because our Father is a good and perfect Father. He has promised each and every one of us who stands in this sanctuary today. There's only, a, there's only one other reason. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, mm -hmm. that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is a promise. That's a perfect gift. Jehová es mi pastor. Nada me faltará. En lugares de delicados pastos me hará descansar. Junto a aguas de reposo me pastoreará. Confortará mi alma. Me guardará por sendas de justicia por amor a su nombre. Aunque ande en valle de sombras de muerte, no temeré mal alguno. Porque tú estarás conmigo. Tu vara y tu callado me infundirán aliento. Aderezas mesa delante de mí en presencia de mis angustiadores. Él es el único que puede darte esa, esa tranquilidad, saber que, que tu hijo está descansando, ¿verdad? Todos los que van, los que mueren van al descanso de esta vida uh, tormentosa que nos ha tocado vivir. Nos ha tocado vivir tiempos angustiosos, dice la Biblia, tiempos malos. Entonces, el Señor nos dice, vengan a mí. La vida comienza llorando y llorando se acaba. Solamente nos queda tu vida todo poderoso. Su bendición y la fortaleza para continuar hasta donde diga. Así que me siento y de mi parte le doy las gracias a todos los que nos han acompañado. George is the kind of person where if you met him as a friend, he was a friend for life. He would move backwards to do whatever he needed to do. You could show off his back. Because that's what his mom and dad and grandma and grandpa were raising. He would be like that. I think you never know what to say in a situation like this because you don't expect it to happen. Me and my wife, my sister, and my sister Christina. <laughs> great parents. Great parents. You know, you turned out for a better son. He's Marie with just a big heart. I love you. And that's why I knew Joshua after my brother. Because my brother's so tender and so loving. And Joshua had that tenderness. He had that heart. He was up. Uh, but he had a good heart, you know, that's why he did not be good at all. And when Nemo came home um, from training the first time, mm -hmm. I cook a little different than Christina. Christina cooks a lot of traditional Hispanic food. I cook a lot of other weird foods. And Joshua always came home to a very odd kind of meal. But <laughs> I had made a uh, tuna melt. And he said, I said, how did you like that meal? And he says, I came home and I saw that and I said, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I said, me home? What? He said, it tastes like shit. <laughs> he said, I'm just playing that. It tastes like shit. <laughs> I just want to thank him for giving me the best memories, the best smiles, the best time to my family show. And uh, the courage and strength you two have is beyond again. And I love you guys. Our family loves you. And your family, I might think this shows enough and convinces you enough that your love is more than, I, I, you know, we can even say, you know, say, so I tell you, I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and I love your family. And I hope that that love continues. That dude would just walk out with uh, just nothing but, you know, skin and pants and be like, why are you guys shivering? You know, it ain't that bad. You know, as he's like holding himself together, you know, he always, he always made every one of us feel special. And one thing I can definitely remember him is, there were some days when, I don't know, we were just laying down, just talking, and out of nowhere, he would come up with a country song. 
Every single song had to be a country song. Man. He'll start it off and somehow he'll get the whole group going. Don't know how he did it. Don't know what kind of magic he had behind him. I miss a man. But I know I always got him. I know I always got him in my heart. You guys have raised him. I'm so, honestly, I'm really jealous you guys got to raise him. Great kid, great guy, great character. Not the best singer, but I mean, hey, he always tried. He always tried. He sang with conviction. I give him that much. <laughs> I'm Your son was one of the first people that I met, and as soon as I met him, he immediately stepped into his big brother role, showing me the ropes, telling me what to do, what not to do. Any time, like, I was unsure of what to do, he was, he would just be there. And, uh, I remember, like, like, whenever we would have to drive somewhere, like, he'd be with me, and he'd always give me, like, Bias and we just have like talks about life. And, um, but the one thing that, that I'll always remember about your son is, uh, like I said, like it will just start singing and <laughs> everyone will just start singing. And it's, uh, I'm going to miss that. And thank you guys so much for raising a wonderful young. It was so cold in the morning, we had to wake up. It was so cold that there was ice on our sleeping bag. And me and two other guys were just shivering, staying there and trying to talk, just just trying to kill time. It was so cold. And I remember Joshua came up behind me with a creepy smile. <laughs> <laughs> Just screaming to a boy and said, What's up, little boy? Cold. Can I be as I was cold? Without even asking or saying anything, he took off his ticket jacket that he had on him and gave it to me. He treated me like a that one of it is. I don't know, I just didn't never thought too much about it. He, the guy flows like water, you know, he just, he's fitting right with the guys. Um, his knowledge and the, the way he carried himself daily, um, keeping all the guys happy and at the same time being able to accomplish the mission they had was um, something we really needed in those times. Um, it was rough. And something about the singing, uh, I remember uh, I was outside one of the vehicles, and the striker's a big vehicle, um, cleaning my weapon, and I just started hearing singing out of nowhere. And it was a group of like five guys singing inside the vehicle. I popped my head through the window, and they all stopped. And they look at me, and then I just see his face smile at me. And I was like, well, don't stop. And all of them like, Josh, you know. From here and all of us, to everybody in this room, it will forever be in all of our hearts. You've definitely made an impact on each and every one of us. <clears throat> and to his parents, thank you so much for letting him be a part of our lives. He was definitely, definitely something I will never forget. <laughs>